And hello everybody, welcome to the Daily Planets edition of Athena's Web. Today, we're taking a look at the weekend for you, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 18th, 19th, and 20th of August, 2017. Well, there's a whole bunch of planetary combinations going on over the course of this weekend. We're heading into the solar eclipse, which will be Monday, and that basically is uh, stirring the nation up dramatically. It not only is going to be visible through from Oregon to South Carolina across the course of the country, but um, it's also falling on Donald Trump's ascendant, 28 and a half, 29 degrees of Leo. Uh, and um, that implies that there could be some very difficult circumstances coming up for the president in the not too distant future. Solar eclipses, unlike other aspects, don't occur exactly as they're uh, uh, exact, <laughs> exactly as they're happening. Uh, but lunar eclipses can occur any time in the upcoming month following the eclipse. Solar eclipses any time through the course of the coming year following the eclipse. But anyway. The hammer on the, the pistol has been pulled back and we're waking, waiting for the secondary influence to pull the trigger. Hey, that could be a Trump metaphor, couldn't it? <laughs> All right, Friday, three o'clock, Venus inconjuncts the planet Saturn. People feel as though we're not being fair about what's going on. Circumstances are, uh, somebody's got their thumb on the scales. Uh, circumstances are a little more difficult. It's not the color, shade, texture, hue of whatever material we're working with. Um, we're having to, to make it fit and it's a round peg in a square hole or vice versa. On Saturday morning, early Saturday morning at 5.30, Venus parallels the planet Uranus and uh, we're a little more stimulated, excited, uh, drawn to the circumstances that are coming through at that time. That's not too bad. One, two, three, three aspects, planetary combinations going on Sunday uh, and one early Monday morning. Starting at the top, just past noon, the sun in conjuncts the planet Uranus. Uh, our healing capabilities are not what they could be. Uh, we're finding that uh, what it is that we're hearing or attempting to do is a little slow off the mark. But 20 minutes later, Mars sextiles the planet Jupiter, and our own individuality, enthusiasm, um, uh, initiative can help to change that and make it work to our benefit in another way. So tune in to what's not working and see what adjustments you can take hold of that help to push it through. Seven o'clock, uh, conversations aren't as pleasing as they could otherwise be. But then following midnight, the sun trines Uranus, uh, that at 2.22 in the morning. You'll feel that about uh, midnight, 12.30, 1 o'clock. And uh, the creativity is really coming through in a, in, a, in a spontaneous, unexpected kind of way. We're excited about what's going on. We're learning something new. Information, knowledge, and science are all being well honed and or triggered. And we're pleased with what it is that's happening. And then peaking a little further ahead, Monday afternoon, 2.30, the solar eclipse. Well, that's about it for this edition of the web. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Don Soro for AthenasWeb.com and Nantucket TV as best you can. Have a good one, everybody.